we can begin. Thank you. Um, so the, uh, the organization I represent um, is Food Drink Europe. We are an organization uh, that represents obviously the food and drink industry in Europe. Uh, my members are um, the individual member states uh, federations. So we have all the different member states but also some observer members. So the organization actually reaches out beyond the European Union per se. It goes beyond that. Uh, we also represent sectors, that is the dairy sector, the meat sector, the sugar, and all the other sectors. And we uh, also have a group of large companies who are part of the organization. The organization also groups uh, the 320,000 uh, SMEs that I mentioned uh, this morning, um, I, usually indirectly, but also we have five. We have a board of 17 people, and five of these people are uh, representing right. SMEs, as does our president, actually, is an SME. Yeah. So traceability, um, obviously, safety uh, in the food industry is, is really the cornerstone of, of what we do. Uh, it's in our interest to, to always bring safe foods to the market, uh, not only uh, for the obvious moral and ethical reasons, but also because it makes economic sense. Um, uh, safety um, uh, is therefore part of this traceability uh, to which we are of course very very attached. Uh, we must be responsible, we're responsible for the safety of our foods and uh, therefore uh, traceability um, for us is a must. We must be able to identify step up, step back, down along the chain where the food uh, or the raw materials are coming from and where it's going right. to when it, when it comes through our factories. It's also an obligation by the way. Uh, traceability is an obligation for the sure. Industry. Yeah, okay. um, it's uh, also something um, that uh, we have learned over the years is increasingly important in order to be able to be more transparent in what we do to prevent uh, food safety issues, uh, to act in emergency situations. It's very helpful to know uh, and to have a grip on traceability and what's, where the food right. has come from, where it's going to. And of course, it also leads to increasing cooperation with the other members in the food chain and the authorities, both EU level and national level. So um, all of this, of course, is, is uh, very, very important for the industry. What are we doing about it? Well, um, the role we, we play in, in bringing uh, our translating um, the, the research that's, that we've heard about this morning, uh, not only in traceability but in all uh, other aspects of food project production in Europe, uh, translating it into outcomes because you can spend billions on research and not deliver anything, so it's all a bit waste uh, of, uh, of a waste of money. What we really want to do is bring more um, safe, good and novel foods to the, to the markets. Um, we think it's important that uh, we therefore need, we, we need efficient authorization procedures. We need to optimize um, knowledge sharing and technology transfer. This, mm -hmm. is, this is actually very difficult. We spoke this morning about the difficulty of transferring knowledge that has been gained across two SMEs in particular. Uh, this is all very important. We need, uh, especially for SMEs, we need better access to finance. Um, we have been uh, very involved in the various different framework programs uh, from the food point of view that we've talked about already today. Currently, we are a big partner in the European technology platform Food for Life. Um, we have many, many activities going on in the research area. Uh, we are looking to bring forward um, products to the market, but there are many bottlenecks there. One of them is novel foods uh, regulation, which we haven't seen. Sure, yeah. Joe Lyon mentioned it earlier on. It actually takes about 31 months on average uh, to get okay. an approval uh, right. under okay. that okay. You've had a good, good, good yeah. go at explaining who you are and what you're interested in. So let's move from the, uh, the producers to the consumers mm. now. Monique. Yes. 